Hey folks, Matt from RadioTheImage.com. I am overdue for my second coffee of the morning. It's 11.30, I was up at six. I had my first coffee right around there and I usually have another one before now. But we have something to open today. So I thought perfect time to do it uh, because this is for the AeroPress. This is, I believe it's Altura Ultra fine mesh filter so you don't have to use the uh, paper filters in the AeroPress. Let's get it open and have a peek. So there it is there. Yeah, I had the, I had the uh, name right. Altura, the Ultra Reusable Stainless Steel Fabric Filter for AeroPress Coffee Makers. Now, um, let's get it out of this package. And here it is here. Very uh, fine looking, very flexible. Um, excited to try this in the AeroPress. Uh, what does it say on here? Let's have a peek. Thank you for purchasing an Altura filter for your AeroPress. Not only are you helping the environment, yeah, obviously we are because we're not uh, going through paper. You're on your way to enjoying better coffee. Brewing, uh, let's see, brewing coffee with an AeroPress is an art. Did you know Altura filters work best with finely ground coffee? Think espresso or drip grind. Have you tried the inverted brew method? Well, that's the, what we're going to do right here. That's what I've been doing. I just haven't had one of these wonderful little Altura uh, filters. All right, so let's get to it here. So that's the uh, this is the filter here. Let me actually take it out of this little uh, wrappy thing. And probably should probably give it a rinse. Okay, so I just gave it a rinse, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to put it into. I don't think it matters which way it goes in, but we're going to put it into the uh, bottom of the AeroPress here. And then we're going to head on over and get some coffee beans out of here. We're going to do some grinding. Get some beans going, fresh beans. Going to need my scoop. Let's get some uh, a full scoop of beans in here. One scoopola into the grinder. I started keeping the beans in a mason jar because I think it keeps them fresher. Let's get them grinded. Let's put the beans away. Okay, so the beans are ground. Put my bean scoop away. And the next thing we have to do here is get the uh, get the beans into the AeroPress. So we put the funnel. We got the inverted method going on upside down. Makes for a better brew time. We get our freshly ground beans. This is key to good coffee is grinding your own beans. If you haven't done this, try it. You'll be amazed how good, how much better your coffee is if you grind your own beans. So there we go, we got fresh ground coffee in there. So there you could see the AeroPress inverted. That's the coffee inside the tube there, you could see that. I'll try and get a shot here where we're not getting the reflection. Um, and we've got the funnel there and the kettle is boiling right over there. Okay, the kettle has boiled, so we're going to take the kettle and we are going to, first of all, I usually just swish it around the top there to clean out the coffee grounds and get them all into the AeroPress. And then I take out, uh, that. that's cleaned off our funnel, so I take that out and then we are going to top up the AeroPress right now with our hot water. And then the next thing we have to do for the AeroPress right now, see if we can get a good shot of this. 
We're using the uh, Panas uh, not Panasonic, Canon G7X Mark II. Very excited to be shooting with this camera. We give it a good stir with the swizzle stick, the AeroPress. This is the stir stick that came with AeroPress. We're going to throw that in the sink. And then we are going to take our, uh, our, our cap, the top, with our Altura Ultrafine filter in there. And we are just going to put that onto the top. And that just screws on like there. I'm trying to do this one handed. It's a little, uh, a little tricky. But we'll screw that on there. Okay, it's on there nice and tight now. And now what we do is, uh, I usually just use my phone for the timer. It's three minutes brew time, so we hit that and uh, wait for the timer to count down. And uh, we will grab a fresh coffee cup. Got one just washed over here, my Michigan ca uh, cup. What most people don't realize is that's not a Michigan cup, that is M for matte. So I've got my own line of cups and clothing. Awesome. All right, let's give it the, uh, the remaining of, remainder of the three minutes and then we'll do our press. All right, there goes our timer, 30 seconds is up. And what we want to do here, pardon the movement, I'm just going to flip up the flippy screen so I can see what's going on here. We are going to press the coffee. That's what the AeroPress is all about. We're going to press the coffee into the mug. We are using the Altura Ultra Fine Mesh Filter here, reusable stainless steel. Pretty excited about this. I'll put the link below. Put the link below in the comments, the video description. You can check this out on Amazon, user reviews and price and whatnot. I think they're about $10 actually. Um, but you never have to buy a, never have to buy paper filters again. Awesome. All right, so then we just top this up with a little bit more water from the kettle and we have a perfect cup of coffee here all brewed up for us. So here we've got a perfect cup of coffee and uh, let's give it a taste test. It's still pretty hot, but we'll see. Mmm, that's very nice. Altero filter is working very nice. And you know what, from what I can see, it's hard to tell till we get to the bottom, but it looked to me like sediment wise, as far as, um, as far as particulate that would come through, because you always get a little bit in almost any cup of coffee. Um, but I think it maybe is even better than the paper filters, but we'll have a look in the mug when I'm finished my coffee and show you what it looks like there. Finished the coffee. Coffee was delicious. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to show you this because of reflections and whatever, but we're going to try. Yeah, I think it might be kind of hard because of the reflection of the light and to get any light in there. But basically what I want to show you guys or what I wanted to show you is when I look in here, I'm really amazed at how little uh, sediment, how little silt there is. Um, so basically what I'm saying there is this Ultra Altura Ultra Mesh Filter is awesome. It seems to be actually doing a better job. Um, now I've just had one, but from what I'm seeing here, not only did it taste amazing, so the taste was great, no, um, it may have even tasted better. Maybe it's removing the taste of the paper filter. I don't know. It was a beautiful cup of coffee, but uh, very little sediment, very little silt, if any, in there. So it seems like maybe it's better than the paper for that as well. So anyways, I'll put the links below. You can check them out on Amazon uh, and see the uh, the price. As I said, I think it's around $10. Uh, you can check out the Q&A, the user reviews on it, but a great addition to the AeroPress. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below as well. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.